Hello, it's Alimik. In today's video, we will be removing fuel injectors on this 2021 Nissan Kicks, and then I will show you how to clean them in an easy and effective way. Removing fuel rod is very easy on this car. We just need to remove a PCB hose and this oil separator hose, and then we can unbolt the fuel rod. Let's use a pair of needle pliers to remove the hoses. Removing these two hoses will make the job much easier when taking the fuel rod out. Next, we will disconnect the fuel line with a flat screwdriver. You can take the fuel pump fuse out and crank the engine, so the injectors release the fuel pressure and not splash the gas when removing the fuel line. But if you leave the car over the night, you won't have fuel pressure just like this. This engine has 8 fuel injectors, so make sure to remove all 8 connectors. Needle pliers works the best for pulling the connectors in this tight spot. Next, we will remove these two 10mm bolts of the fuel rod. Next, we will need ratchet, extender, and 10mm socket. And from where I tried, small set of ratchet works the best on this spot. I will use this plastic clip removing tool to pull the fuel rod out, but you can use a long flat screwdriver as well. And here are all the 8 injectors. Next, I will show you how to remove them from the fuel rod and then clean them. Next, we gonna remove fuel injector clips with a flat screwdriver, but make sure not to lose any of them. And then, pulling each fuel injectors out from the fuel rod. It's important to clean the fuel rod as well, because most of the time dirt sits inside the fuel rod and clog cleaned fuel injectors again. And that's what we gonna do after cleaning fuel injectors. Next, cleaning fuel injectors. I will start with removing upper o-rings first and then give it a good cleaning from the outside. It's a good idea to replace the o-rings every time you take the fuel injectors out with a new one, but I always check them if they have no crack on them, I can use them without any problems. For cleaning, I will use carb cleaner to clean the fuel injectors from the outside first. I always get asked why I use carb cleaner for cleaning fuel injectors and not using any other cleaners like a brake cleaner or something else. If we look at the injector tip closely, we can see how carb cleaner dissolves it instantly and that's how it cleans inside the fuel injectors when we apply voltage to open injector solenoid so the cleaner passes through the nozzle. Next cleaning fuel injector raw, make sure to spray in each hole and then drain it few times. Next I will remove fuel injector filter out with a screw like this before cleaning and after cleaning we will put new ones in. You can also use specific fuel injector filter removing pliers too. I will make sure to put the link in the video description box below. Next, I will use universal fuel injector adapter for cleaning fuel injectors, but make sure to use another o-ring if you are willing to put the old o-rings back. Using this fuel injector adapter is very easy, you just have to put an o-ring on a fuel injector and insert it in, and then we can put it on a carb cleaner, but not like this. You should put the adapter first and then the injector. The fuel injector adapters comes with two wire harness connectors for powering fuel injectors. You just need 12 volt battery. It doesn't matter which one is a positive or negative. When we apply voltage, you should be able to hear clicking sound on the nozzle. But right now, no sound, it's not working. I had to break the connector because they were too far from each other. Next, I had to put a heat shrink on it so it doesn't touch each other and create short circuit. Now we can put each wire on each pin. And it doesn't matter which one is a positive or negative, it's a coil and it will work both ways. Now we need to hold the fuel injector along with the adapter and push it down on a carb cleaner and at the same time give it 12 volt battery. This is called fuel injector leaking. It shouldn't be spraying at this time without giving power. It means some carbon stuck between the nozzle solenoid and prevent it from closing. We are gonna give it some continuous long power and it will clean it and not leaking again. This part of the video is not being edited. You can see in real time how it was leaking and how it works now. After cleaning, I'm gonna raise my hand on a carb cleaner and give it power to release that pressure. So I continued to clean other fuel injectors with the same method. I had many leaking fuel injectors like this one and I had to clean all of them. I will put this real time video at the end so you can see how long it took me to clean one leaking fuel injector. After cleaning all fuel injectors, we are gonna put new filter baskets in and I will provide everything I used in this video. And here is the comparison between the new and the old basket filters. Next we will drop the new filter basket in the nozzle and give it a light push. So I continued inserting other filter baskets for the other fuel injectors. Next inserting set of new o-rings on the fuel injectors. As I mentioned before, if they don't have cracks, you can reuse it, but it's better to use new ones so you don't have to worry about leaking fuel. Now the fuel injectors and the fuel rod all clean. It's important to loop the o-ring before inserting the fuel injectors. 
it will provide better seal. Here I'm using 0W20 engine oil, but the type of oil not that important, you just need some kind of lubrication for the o-rings. Next we will insert the fuel injectors back on the fuel rod again. Pay attention to the fuel injector pin, it should be aligned with the fuel rod pin, otherwise the wire harness connector will be at the back side, then you have to rotate it. When you're putting the metal clip back, make sure to wiggle the fuel injector to make sure that it's sitting in its groove correctly. It's important to clean fuel injectors holes before putting injectors back. That way the o-rings will sit with a clean surface to prevent leaking any pressure. When you're putting fuel rod back, pay attention to the fuel injector tips, align them with the holes and then push them. Next we will put the two 10mm bolts back on the fuel rod. And these are the only bolts we remove it for taking the fuel rod out. Alright, fuel rod secured now. Now we can put the harness connectors on the fuel injectors. Next, putting oil separator hose and PCV hose back on the engine. And the last thing, connecting fuel line back on the fuel rod. Alright, we are done. All the wire harnesses and the hoses back on the engine. Now we're gonna start the engine. It will start a bit late for the first time and that is normal. Because the fuel injectors and the fuel rod is empty, it will take some time to refill them with the fuel and push the air out. You must have stable engine like this. If you experiencing shaking engine after cleaning fuel injectors, one or more than one harness connector not staying good, or you have leaking from the o-rings. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. Now I will leave you with this real time clip so you have an idea how long it took me to clean one leaking fuel injector. The products I used will be in the video description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.